Hello, hello. It's Jill with Go English Coach. Um, we are here for our Tuesday 10 a.m. lesson. Um, it, uh, Tuesdays at 10 and Thursdays at 10, we have our Intermediate Grammar 1 course here in the month of May. Um, in June, we'll do Grammar Level 2, our Intermediate Grammar 2, and then it will go up every month, okay? So this is our third lesson in the month of May in this course. So Intermediate Grammar 1, we are doing today Lesson 3. Um, what I would like to do with you guys today, let me show you, I'll create a list here. So typically, you guys, we do some questions. Any questions students might have, then we do a review of what we talked about last class, okay? And then we're going to do some uh, practice. We're going to do practice on the present progressive. Um, remember the present, last week we did present, uh, present progressive and uh, simple present. So we'll just abbreviate those by using P, P, and S, P. And then today we, you guys, we are jumping into the simple past tense. So for some of you, for whoever of you that are, you know, more on the upper intermediate or advanced level of class, um, this will be a nice review for you. And, um, you know, there's always, there's always things that you can learn um, in a class, even if you have learned these tenses before. Um, let me just make sure I've got everything going how I want this here today. Um, great. Okay, and we are recording here. Okay, and I've got my coffee because today I am cold. <laughs> okay, so for those of you on Facebook Live, I will keep you on here for a little while, but if you want to see the full lesson and you want to join our class, our community, our, you know, you can go to my site, you guys, always. GoEnglishCoach.com and gold members, okay, so there's four levels of membership in my, on my website. The gold member gets access to all of the live classes, you guys, and that is $55 a month, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know that for the full classes, you wanna show up Tuesdays and Thursdays, go ahead and go to goenglishcoach.com and check out the memberships. And you'll need to be, to get access, you'll need to be a gold member, okay? So that's what we've got there. Okay, let's see, let's start. Anybody have questions for me? Um, if you have questions, you guys can chat, I'll put them in the chat here. <clears throat> okay, well, I'll just keep kind of checking back in. Um, so let's move on to the review. So as I said, last week, we, um, we looked at present progressive and, um, and the simple present tense, okay? So we looked at, um, let me show you a couple of things here. So again, if you guys are on um, the Facebook Live, um, you will not be able to see my book. So the best way to do this is to join via Zoom. So let me share this with you guys here and we're gonna do a little bit of practice. So, um, so for my students on Zoom, you guys should see me and my book here. So again, if you're interested, this is the book that I'm using, this Grammar 3, okay? Um, we did this one in the last class. What I'd like to show you guys is, um, let's take a look at this conversation here, this conversation. So it says conversation two, and there are two people speaking. You've got this person, Lee Wu, and then Paolo, okay? So what we're gonna do is try to um, answer or decide which tense we're going to use. So the sentence is, hi, Paolo, what do you do or what are you doing? Okay, what do you do or... Um, he says, she says, hi, Paolo. 
what do you do or what are you doing? Okay, so these two are friends and that's obvious here in the conversation, right? Hi, Paolo, what do you do or what are you doing? So first of all, I want, oh, I didn't write that. What do you do? Okay, so this is, there's our first one and our second one, okay? We'll just say, hi, Paolo, what are you doing? So this is the present progressive, right? What are you doing in this moment? What are you doing, okay? I walk all over this room and then I've got this large cord that just follows me. Um, okay, so that's the present progressive form of this question. Now, this one is the present tense. What do you do? Now, I want you guys to remember, um, so we've got the WH, the just take a look at the form of this question. And I, the reason I am, Pointing this out is because you've got this do auxiliary and then there's your main verb. So you, this is a totally normal question. What do you do and what are you doing? And so in the context of this conversation here, she's probably asking, what are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? This question, even though it's in a different tense, it has a different, it's a different question. So what is, what are they asking? If somebody says, what do you do? What is the question somebody is asking you? What do you do? This is a question about your job, okay? Or kind of like your life. So what do you do? What do you do means, um, let's see what you guys are saying here. What do you do means like, what is your life like every day? Your answer could be, I'm a student, I'm a teacher, okay? I'm an author, all right? So that's what that question means. Now, if you compare that to this question, this is saying, what are you doing right now, okay? So what do you do in general is kind of like, what do you do every day? And so this is a really great example of comparing the present tense and the present progressive. It really, um, highlights or exemplifies the difference when you change this tense from simple present tense to the present progressive, okay? This means what do you do every day, okay? And this means what are you doing in this moment? Okay, so let's go back to our conversation here. <clears throat> I should move my coffee so that I do not spill it. How are we doing over here, you guys? Great, okay. Um, actually, Facebook Live, everybody, I'm so happy that you're here. I'm gonna shut this off for now, because what I really want you to do is join us um, in our Zoom classroom, and it's super easy. So as I said, just go to the website, goenglishcoach.com, and click join. You'll join at the gold level, and then when you log into your site, it's super easy to join and up coming class. Um, if you're not sure about the schedule, don't worry. I record all of our classes and they are uploaded to my website and available to gold or platinum members at any time. So you never have to worry about missing a class with me. Okay. So you maybe have a doctor's appointment or um, you have to take your child to school. No problem. You will have unlimited lifetime access to all of those, you know, to all of the classes, okay, no matter what. So, okay, Facebook Live people, thank you so much for being here. I will see you soon. Okay, so um, my gold member students here, let's take a look. So we've got, hi, Paolo, what do you do? We've just discussed what the meaning is here, but she's asking really, what are you doing, right? What are you doing? He responds, oh, I'm waiting for class to begin, right? I'm waiting. So this would mean something I do every day. I wait every day, okay? Does that make sense? Um, let me see if I can get you guys the right one here. Okay, 
Um, and then what's the matter? He said, she says, what's the matter? You seem, you seem a little down now seem. If you guys remember, do you remember we had that whole list of words that didn't, um, that didn't change the meaning when you switched it into, um, the present progressive tense. So it was like, think love, like hope kind of all of those different categories of words, seem is one of those words. So using I'm, you're seeming um, really doesn't change the meaning. So we're gonna stick with uh, you seem, okay? You seem, or like you appear. You seem a little down, okay? Um, great. Paolo says, no, you know, I'm just tired. I'm working evenings this semester or I work evenings this semester. So I'm working. Okay. Hey, is that teacher over? Is that your teacher over there? Great. So it's a nice question. Is that your teacher over there? Great. Um, let's continue. <clears throat> um, so yes, she talks to a classmate or she's talking to a classmate. Okay. She talks to a classmate or she's talking. I'll try to get you guys over here so I can, well, I don't want to mess this up. Okay. So she's talking to a classmate is what we're going to want to use here. She's talking, right? Cause it's happening right now. And he's watching her do that. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, let's see. Paolo says, what's wrong? He doesn't look or he's not looking at her. He doesn't look or he's not looking. So one is very clearly like it happens all the time. And one is it's happening right now. So because a lot of these other ones are using this present progressive tense, let's keep that for here. He's not looking at her. He seems or he's seeming. He seems good. Yes. Great. Okay. Oh, that doesn't mean anything. In some countries, it's not polite to look directly at your teacher. Okay. That doesn't mean, that's what we're going to say. So seem and mean are both um, words that are better in the present tense um, for this conversation. Okay. Okay. So I, uh, please pause the this this video right now, for those of you who are watching it after, pause it and then I want you to read, or if you can find a person to practice that with, I would like for you to practice that conversation. And so choose Li Wu or Paolo to be, and then have that conversation and really practice um, with pronouncing the, um, the contractions. So he's um, and isn't or doesn't, Okay, making sure that you're pronouncing those correctly, because those are really critical for this for this tense. Okay, for present tense and for present progressive. Um, okay, well, let's keep going. Um, I would like to also share with you. So there's this book has a lot of really great um, exercises, especially for um, for this unit. So this is the unit one in focus on grammar three. Okay. So if you guys are going to buy this book, um, that'd be, it'd be great. Cause then you could work on it at home and I can give you assignments too. Okay. I hope you guys are following along with me here. Let's look also, let's do this next exercise here. Okay. And let me try something to see if I can get you guys on the same page as me. There we go. Okay, let's just keep going with this. So questions and statements, as you guys can see in our book here. Okay, so it says other students are talking outside of a classroom and complete the conversation, use the present progressive. Okay. Okay, 
So we have here's or there's hunt. So we've got Rasha and Cloud. You know, don't worry about pronunciations of, of names. You know, you're always going to have to ask somebody how to pronounce their name because it's, you know, names are just so diverse in, in all cultures. So um, great. So we've got Rasha says, there's Hans. Why is he walking so fast? Okay, so you can see what happened here. You're given the verb to walk. And it's a question. So we've got the is over here and then uh, the ing form right there. Okay. So let's complete this together. Um, class blank. So the word is start at 9 a.m. Okay. I'm just assuming it's a.m. because we don't really start classes at 9 p.m. Okay. So, so do we say class starts? at 9 a.m. or class is starting at 9 a.m.? Okay, what do you guys think? This is actually a really great question. Class starts would mean class starts every day at 9 a.m. Or if you want to convey that it's happening right now, you actually could say class is starting at 9 a.m. But what I wanna show you is there's um, class starts at 9 a.m. Okay, why is he walking so fast? So we're gonna say class starts here. And really you could say that is starting. That could be totally fine. I, I just, I think this fits better with the conversation if you look at the whole sentence, okay? Um, he still has, okay? So that's just the simple present tense of to have. He has, he still has. 10 minutes. So we don't want to say he still is having 10 minutes. That's one of those verbs that we just don't really use in the um, present progressive. You could say like, she is having a baby, right? If some a woman is pregnant, you could say she's having a baby, but the verb there is to have a baby. So it's a little bit different. Okay. Um, but that's just one of those examples that kind of, um, is a little irregular, has a little bit different rules, okay? Okay, so Cloud says he always, so that's an indicator, always is an indicator of which tense we're gonna use. So he always walks, okay? He always walks fast. I blank, Swiss people often blank to be in a hurry. What do you guys think? I think, right? Because with think, we don't say I'm thinking. We don't say that too much unless you are in the moment of thinking. So this is kind of a general statement. I think Swiss people often appear to be in a hurry. So we're just going to kind of match those verb tenses. So because it's think, we're going to say appear. We're going to keep them both in the present tense. Okay. So there's Hans. Why is he walking so fast? Class starts at nine o'clock. He still has 10 minutes. He always walks fast. I think Swiss people often appear to be in a hurry. Okay, great. So you can see that that second sentence is talking more in general about Swiss people. And so it just, you know, it's a lot more clear that you're gonna use the present tense there, not present progressive. All right, let's continue this conversation. I'll go over here to this second, or this is a little different. So you've got Izumi and Li Jing speaking to each other. Okay. So these two people are, are talking. Izumi starts. It says, isn't that Sergio and Luis? Isn't that Sergio and Luis? So it's a nice present um, tense question. Why blank they shake? Okay, why blank shake hands? They already blank each other. They already blank each other. Okay, so the first one, you guys, this, um, the verb is to shake, right? So to shake hands. So what, another thing we can look at here, so we're gonna use shaking, because it's happening right now. And then are, because we're talking about Sergio and Luis, okay? Um, and, so why are they shaking hands? 
Um, hang on just a second here, write this down. Okay, so why are they shaking hands? They already, we don't say are knowing, they say knowing. We just say no, excuse me. So it's no, okay, great. And then here in Brazil, men blank hands every time they blank. It's normal in their culture. So this is awesome, okay? In Brazil, men, so this is talking in general, right? So we know that's present tense. And men, men shake hands every time they meet, okay? It's normal in their culture. Awesome. And then blank women, blank hands too. So we know this is going to be some form of the verb to shake, okay? Um, are, do we, let's just test it out and see what happens. So are women shaking hands too? That's a present progressive. Does that make sense? No, because we don't know what there's, it's not happening right now. So we're going to use present tense. Okay. So how do we make a present tense question? Okay. We're going to use that do auxiliary. So do women shake hands too? All right. Okay, guys. Great. Um, this is, I'm going to do, let's do one more activity and then we are going to do the unit two or excuse me, the unit one quiz. Okay. So what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to show you the quiz and then I'm going to have you pause the video and write your answers down for that. Okay. And I'm going to have you do that, um, during our class here. Okay. Coffee is helping to warm me up. <laughs> okay, one more exercise and then our unit one review. So this one is a very nice exercise. So what you're doing, you guys, is let me get see if I can. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Guys, hopefully that works. Let me just move this over and then okay. So you've got an, a, a schedule here. So we should see me at my desk here and then the book. Um, okay, so. So you guys, we've got um, we're looking at affirmative and negative statements. Look at Brian's schedule in Argentina. Okay. Um, he usually has a regular schedule, but today some things are different. So here's the regular stuff, okay, seven to eight. He normally, he normally goes for a run in the park, okay? Let me see if I can get one more. One more light on my face here. He normally goes for a run in the park. Today he's doing something different, okay? So normally he attends class. Today, he's doing something a little bit different, okay? So it says use the present progressive or the simple present and choose between affirmative and negative. So we're going to use this chart to complete these exercises, okay? All right. Great. Okay, so number one, Brian always runs in the park early in the morning, okay? So you can see the example. This is what they've done for you here. Brian always... And this is really how we know that we're going to use present tense, right? So this is the present tense, okay? But today he is getting ready for a field trip. So we took that verb to get and we made it into the present progressive. So, but today he is getting ready for a trip. Okay, so this is a really nice way to show how in one sentence you can have the present tense and the present progressive. Okay, so really good, helpful information there. Um, and it, it, I think it does a really good job of explaining also why that happens. Okay, um, okay, so let's keep going. Um, Okay, let's do this together, you guys. 
Brian is usually blank. So when I see the word usually, I know present tense. Brian usually blank between 8.30 and 12.30. So what is he doing at 8.30 to 12.30? He usually, we're going to hear, attends class. So don't forget that S in that third person because we're talking about Brian. So Brian usually attends class from 8.30 to 12.30. Okay, but today he is, what's he doing today? Yes. So we're going to use is, third person, going on a field trip, okay, to the museum. So you can write that whole thing and it doesn't matter. Um, this is the part I really care about, is going, okay, is going. All right, guys, let's do it. Great job. Okay, so he always blank between one and two. So let's go up to the schedule and find between one and two. What does he do? He always eats lunch, okay? He always eats lunch. All right, great, um, great. Okay, so... It's 1.30, he blank. He always eats lunch between one and two. It's blank, 1.30, he is eating lunch, right? We're just making that guess what he's doing because he normally eats lunch between one and two. So we're gonna say he's, he's eating lunch, okay? All right, number five has two blanks. So he normally blank after lunch, but today he blank, okay? So normally after lunch, so here's lunch, after he normally, okay? Let's do this one. So what does he normally do? We're going to use the present tense because it's something he normally does. So he normally, studies. Now nor notice what happened here. So the word is study. We changed that Y to an I E S. Okay. That is very, that's what happens with Y. Okay. So we changed that spelling. We don't say he studies. Okay. That's not what we say. We say we use I E S. Okay. So he normally studies um, with his, so we're changing from my to his, because we're talking about him, studies with his classmates, okay, after lunch. But, okay, today, what is he doing? He's working on the family webpage. So we're going to say he is working, um, and I'm going to just do that. He is working. So you guys know what the, the rest of that sentence is. He is working on on the family web page. Great. Okay. Every day from three to five, three to five, he, what does he do, you guys? He work in the cafeteria, he is working in the cafeteria, or he works. He works. Good. He works. Every day, you guys, he works in the cafeteria. You know what the rest of the word is. Okay. Um, great. Good job, you guys. So this is, a, like I said, a really great exercise for deciding. And you can see the difference between present progressive and present tense. Okay. Um, let's continue on here. I would like for you guys to do, here is our unit one review. Let's see if I can get this thing nice and tall. Will this actually change? No. Okay. So we're going to have to do this one by one. Um, ooh, wait, maybe I can get all of it on there. That's why I want to go like this. No, I don't think it lets me. Okay. My, my brand new document camera. It's so exciting. Okay. So here's, 
So what I want you guys to do is pause the video. Let's have you guys do these two parts on your own. Okay, so part A and part B. And then we will do this part C together. If you want to do the whole thing on your own, go ahead. So here's part one. You can pause and then do the exercise. You can just write it down on a piece of paper, okay? So you can just do like number one. Uh, you know, if you did it like this, you would just do like number one on your paper. You could say, what courses are you taking? Okay, so very bad writing, but you understand what I'm saying. You don't need to write the whole sentence, okay? Just that first or just the correct part. So just for this one, we'll do this one together. What courses are you taking? We're going to circle like that on your paper. You're going to write number one. Are you taking? Okay. What courses are you taking? All right. You guys pause the video with this on your screen and please write down. Let's start with just this top one. Okay. So go ahead and write down the answers for one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Pause. Okay, great. So hopefully you took enough time to do this. Um, here are the answers. Okay. And, you know, of course you can always change your answers, but you know, when you make mistakes, it helps people to under, helps me to understand, you know, what problems you're having with this still and how we can try to work on it a little bit more. Okay. So Okay, so number one, I hope we did this one together. So we're going to just circle that. What courses are you taking this semester? So we're not going to use this. Okay, great. All right, number two, I don't understand this phrase or I'm not this phrase. Okay, what's culture shock? Okay, so I don't understand or I'm not understand. So first of all, I'm not understand is not it's not grammatically correct. Okay. So we don't say I'm not understand. And remember also that understand is one of those verbs that we do not generally use in the present progressive tense. So we're going to choose. I don't understand this phrase. What's culture shock. Okay. Okay. Number three at home, we often speak or we speak often Spanish. So this is a little bit more, uh, it's, they are both the same tense, right? It's still just the present tense at home. We speak often Spanish or often speak. So what you're looking at here is where is the best place for this word often. Okay. We often speak Spanish. Okay. We often, okay. That's just about word order. So it's not really about present progressive or present tense or choosing, you know, which one we're looking at, where is the best place for that word often. Okay. Um, great. Look, that's my teacher. He's talking to Andrea, one of my classmates. He talks to Andrea, one of my classmates. Okay. So this tells me we're saying, oh my gosh, this is happening right now. Look, okay, look, that's my teacher. Okay, so we're, so that kind of helps us to know that it's this present progressive. So we're going to use he's talking to Andrea, one of my classmates. Okay, um, great. And then here's a question. So if we're going to use R, you would need this to say ing. Are you feeling better today? Good sentence. But because it's just feel, we're going to say, do you feel better today? Okay. So are you feeling better today is okay. Many people would say that. How are you feeling? Okay. And then do you feel better today? Actually, those two sentences have the same meaning. Okay. But because this is feel, we're going to go with do. Do you feel better today? Okay, great. Okay, so how many out of five did you guys get correct? Hopefully you've got five out of five correct. Okay, okay. 
Um, great. So complete number or letter B, you guys complete the conversation with present progressive or simple present form of the verbs in parentheses. Okay, great. So here we've got the rest of our quiz. So this tells me if you can master this and you do a good job on this, then, then we can move on to the next unit. So, uh, and I'd like to do that. I know you guys can do this. Okay, so complete the conversation with the present progressive or simple present form of the verbs in parentheses. So here are your parentheses, those little things, okay? Great, so you've, it looks, it's a conversation. You've got A and B, A, B, okay? Here, this one starts out with a question. So what blank you blank right now? Right now tells me what? present progressive. Okay, so we're going to do this one together. And then I would like for you to pause and finish this on your own. So we're going to say what are you doing? Boom, right now. Okay, what are you doing right now? Okay, go ahead and pause this you guys and finish the rest of these sentences. So B A B A B B B. And then we will work on them together when you come back. Okay, great work, you guys. So let's finish up and see how you did on the part B of your quiz here. So we've got, what are you doing today? Keeping in mind that this is a conversation. The answer says, not much. I blank, just blank a video game. Why? Your verb in the parentheses is play. Okay, so not much. I blank just blank a video game. Why? So there's two blanks we have to fill in. And we know that the present progressive has two words. It has the auxiliary and then it has the verb, the main verb with the ing. Okay. So if we do that here, we've got playing. Not much. I am. I am just playing a video game. Why? Remember, we're going to pronounce this as I'm, I'm, okay? Um, great. Blank, blank, you, blank, get some lunch. Oops. Clicked my little thing here. Okay. Um, do you, so we've got want here. Do you want to get some lunch? Okay. That's a nice present tense question. Do you want to get some lunch? Um, sure. I usually blank this early, but I blank pretty hungry right now. I usually, so that's, it says not eat. So we're going to make sure to make that a negative. Okay. I usually, so usually means present tense. We're going to say, I don't eat. Hopefully that didn't throw you guys there. I don't eat this early, but I feel pretty hungry right now. Okay. Somebody might say I'm feeling pretty hungry because we've got this right now, but remember that feel is a verb. That's um, a non-action verb. So using the ing doesn't really change its meaning. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, mm, mushroom soup, it blank, good. It look good. So it is looking good or it looks good. What do you guys think? Let's do looks. Again, that's another one of those non-action verbs. So you could say it is looking good, but it looks good is just much better, okay? Um, B, it blank. Good though, I had it yesterday, uh-oh. Okay, so we're gonna use the negative here. Um, we've got taste, so it doesn't. The soup, it doesn't taste good though, I had it yesterday. Okay, great. Hey, there's Costa and Libby. Why blank, they blank like that? Oh gosh, okay, why? blank, they blank like that. So we've got the two blanks and we're talking about something that's happening right now. Cause we're like, oh my gosh, look what's happening over there. 
why are, because there's it's two people, Costa and Libby, why are they shouting like that? Okay, and then let's finish this up. Blank, they angry. It's one word, so are they angry? Okay, I don't think so. They always blank like that. Let's go sit with them, they're fun. I don't think so. They always, always tells you it's present tense. So let's keep talk in the present tense. They always talk like that. Okay. That's the, the, the third person plural is just talk. No S. They talk like that. Okay. Great. Um, let me give you guys a couple of minutes here to look at part C where you're going to find five mistakes in this paragraph. Okay, you're gonna find five mistakes. All right, so let me read it one time for you and then I want you guys to pause. Okay, here, and remember there are mistakes. I live in Qatar, but right now I stay in Wisconsin. I'm studying English here. I have a good time this summer, but in some ways it's a pretty strange experience. Summer in Wisconsin feel like winter in Qatar. Every weekend I go to the beach with some friends, with some classmates, but I go never into the water. It's too cold. I am enjoy my time here though, and my culture shock is going away fast. All right. Um, I live in Qatar but right now I stay in Wisconsin. So because you've got this right now, this needs to be the I-N-G. I'm staying in Wisconsin. Okay, pause the video, you guys, and find the four remaining mistakes. Okay, so... I live in Qatar, but right now I'm staying in Wisconsin. I'm studying English here. That sounds great. I have a good time this summer. I have a good time. We're going to say I'm having, so that doesn't sound right to me. I'm having a good time this summer, but, so we've got two of them, right? One, two. But in some ways, it's a pretty strange experience. Summer in Wisconsin feels, feels like that's just the wrong tense. Like winter in Qatar. Every weekend I go to the beach with some classmates, but I go never in the water. But we're going to, so this is wrong. I, you're going to switch these two, you guys. I never go into the water. It's too cold. I'm enjoy my time here though. And my culture shock is going away fast. I'm enjoying my time here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We found all of them. Okay. So let's read it again correctly. I live in Qatar, but right now I'm staying in Wisconsin. I'm studying English here. I'm having a good time this summer, but in some ways it's a pretty strange experience. Summer in Wisconsin feels like winter in Qatar. Every weekend I go to the beach with some classmates, but I never go into the water. It's too cold. I'm enjoying my time here though. And my culture shock is going away fast. All right. Now, if you guys have done well on this test, which I hope that you have, because we've studied this now for three lessons, um, we are going to move on to the next chapter, which is uh, the past tense, okay? We're gonna start with the past tense of to be and then the ED forms, all right? So let's take a look. Um, I really like to show these charts here. Um, and we, I'm, uh, I'm gonna let you guys take a look and you can also, you know, put them on your, you know, take a screenshot and pause and write these down because I think that's really, really helpful. Okay, so this is the past tense, simple past of to be. Okay, I was, you were, he, she, it was, we, you, they were. Okay, so you've got in the, sing in the singular, 
was were and in the in and here was were was and in the plural you also have were okay and then for the negatives i wasn't you weren't he she it wasn't famous okay and then or we you they weren't weren't so remember it's the b plus not the subject b plus not and then you've got more information over here um so this is just a quick overview that I want you guys to see here. And then we will practice this more in our Thursday class, okay? Yes, no questions. So when you're creating a question, was I famous? Kind of a strange question. Were you famous? Was she famous? Was it famous? Were we famous? Were you famous? Were they famous, right? And then the answer to those are yes and no. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. We'll look at those on Thursday, okay? Those are here. Here are your answers. Yes, I was. Yes, you were. No, he wasn't. No, we weren't. Okay, so those are just some of the examples of the answers to these questions, okay? Then this other form, this WH, where, when, and why. Why was I famous? So look at what happens here. You've got the WH word. You've got the B and then you get the subject as the third position, okay? Was or were, where, sorry, where were you famous? When was it famous? Why was I famous? Okay, there's a lot of different variations that you can make. And then the answer to this, like why would be because, when would be a date, oh, I was famous last year. Or where, you could say, oh, I was famous in, Jamaica. Okay. So you're answering with different kinds of answers there. Okay. I'm just giving you the overview for today and then we are going to finish, but here's the quick review on the past tense, regular and irregular. So, um, the past tense we use, the verb is to move. We add the ED. You moved to Japan. She traveled to Japan, okay? Here are irregular ones. This is the verb to come, the verb to leave. She came in 2002, we left in 2002. So this is the verb to leave, past tense is left. And then come, see O-M-E, okay? Now to make those negative, we're gonna use this form didn't. And that's the only change. Well, there's two changes. Excuse me. You're going to use didn't. And then you're taking away that D. Okay. So it's not there. I didn't move to Japan. It didn't travel to Japan. They didn't leave in 2002. So see what happens here. So over here in the affirmative se sentence, I left in 2002 I didn't leave. So it reverts or goes back to its original form, but you're going to use leave. Same with it's here, or excuse, you're going to use didn't, sorry. Okay. I didn't travel to Japan. I didn't leave in 2012. Okay. Here are your yes, no questions, your short answers for those questions, and then WH questions, okay? So take some time to review that and practice those, you guys. Pause this video right now, change out a couple of the verbs so that you can practice a little bit more. And when we come back on Thursday, I would like to do a review with more of these and we will do some practice as well, okay. Um, go ahead and stop this and take a minute to review and do as much of that work as you guys can. All right. I will see everybody in class on Thursday. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.